Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the order of operations with integers. So our examples are going to include both positives and negatives. Now remember, as far as the order of operations, we have parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have negative 18 divided by negative two times, and then in parentheses, negative 11 plus six, end parentheses. So let's work through the order of operations in order to break this problem down. Do we have anything to do with in parentheses? Yes, we have negative 11 plus six. So let's start there. Negative 11 plus six gives us negative five. So we start at negative 11 and add six. So we are increasing in value by six and get negative five. So now we can bring down everything we did not use and go from there. Now we have negative 18 divided by negative two times negative five. And you'll notice I'm keeping some of the negatives within parentheses. That helps us stay a little more organized and we don't confuse any negatives for subtraction or forget any of the negative signs. It makes the negatives a little more clear and again, helps us stay organized. I left the negative 18 without parentheses because it's in the front and the negative is clear, but we can definitely put it in parentheses as well if we would like. So let's continue to work through the order of operations. Anything to do with in parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. We actually have both multiplication and division. Multiplication and division are the same priority, so we work from left to right. When working from left to right, we have division first. We have negative 18 divided by negative 2. So we have a negative divided by a negative. That gives us a positive. So negative 18 divided by negative 2 is 9, a positive 9. Then we can bring down everything we did not use. So times negative five, and now we have nine times negative five. A positive times a negative equals a negative. So nine times negative five is negative 45. And this is our final answer, negative 45. Let's move on to number two, where we have in parentheses, negative four minus four end parentheses, and we are squaring what we get within those parentheses, plus negative three cubed divided by nine. So let's work through the order of operations. Do we have anything to work through within parentheses? Yes, we have negative four minus four. So let's start there. Now remember, one thing we can do when we have subtraction, we can add the opposite. And that can help when we have problems involving negatives. So let's add the opposite here. We have negative four plus, and then the opposite of positive four is negative four. So negative four plus negative four, or negative four minus four, that gives us negative eight. And we need to keep that negative eight within parentheses because we are squaring this result. We are squaring what we got within the parentheses. It's very important to keep that negative result, negative eight, in parentheses because again, we are squaring it. We have an exponent. Now remember, and I'm going to come to the side here, negative eight squared is different than if we do not have the parentheses. Negative eight squared with parentheses means negative eight times negative eight, which equals 64. 
the negative is included with the exponent. Without the parentheses, that means 8 times 8, which is 64, the exponent is only applied to the 8, and then we have the negative sign in front. So without the parentheses, that equals negative 64. Now, if you need more of an explanation as far as the difference between those, I go into more detail in another video. That link is in the description. So we have negative 8 squared plus negative 3 cubed divided by 9. So now we have negative 8 squared plus negative 3 cubed divided by 9. Do we have anything to work through within parentheses? No. Do we have any exponents? Yes, we have two exponents. So let's start with negative 8 squared which means negative 8 times negative 8. So a negative times a negative. A negative times a negative equals a positive. So this gives us positive 64. And we will go one step at a time here. So let's bring down everything we did not use. And now we have 64 plus negative 3 cubed divided by 9. So now we can do negative 3 cubed. That means negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So we have positive 9 times negative 3. That gives us negative 27. So we have negative 27. Bring down everything we did not use. And now we have 64 plus negative 27 divided by 9. Now just as a quick recap as far as negative 3 cubed and how we got negative 27, I'm going to come to the side here. So we had negative 3 cubed, which means negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then we had positive 9 times negative 3. A positive times a negative equals a negative. So 9 times negative 3 equals negative 27. So now as far as the order of operations, we have 64 plus negative 27 divided by 9. Do we have anything within parentheses that we need to work through? No. Do we have any exponents? No. Do we have any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's what we do next. We have negative 27 divided by 9. So a negative divided by a positive. That gives us a negative. So negative 27 divided by 9 gives us negative 3. Bring down everything we did not use. And we end with 64 plus negative 3, which is 61. And this is our final answer. So there you have it. There's how to work through order of operations problems involving both positives and negatives. So order of operations problems with integers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.